now a two-time Ray Guy Award winner and consensus All-American punter. He's host of the It's Utah's World podcast, and we believe the first former University of Utah player to join us on BYU Sports Nation. But most importantly, he is the newest convert fan across Cougar Nation. Tom Hackett on the Deseret First Credit Union Hotline. Tom, welcome, my friend. Great to have you. Gentlemen, man, this is fun. Hey, it's good to see you. It's good to hear your voices. I hope everything is going well. It is. And that blue shirt looks amazing on you. I want to say that right off the bat. Thank you. Yeah, no, I, uh, I, I think it's the only blue shirt I have. It's a golfing shirt. It, it's even got a Nike. Yep. BYU, the Nike's cool. yes, it's, like not, that? it's not Under Armour. It's Nike. That's, that's important. Hey, yeah. Tom, I think we can uh, help your BYU wardrobe out. We'll see, we'll see what we can do about getting <laughs> you some more blue. Hey, don't tell, don't tell Kalani. I was actually – well, it's been a few years since I've been down to, uh, to BYU and, and saw Kalani. But a few years ago, I was in his office, and he gave me some BYU stuff. And I thought it was gracious of him. I'm like, thanks, Coach. You know, good – but I – I gave it to my neighbor who was a diehard BYU fan because I'm like, I'm just, I'm never going to wear it. And don't tell him I did that. Just say, I need more, will you? We'll try, we'll try and keep we, that on the we, DL. We won't let him know we, after you broadcasted it on national television. He, he, he's, of course, watching every episode of BYU Sports Station. But, okay, the reason we have you on, one, you're, just a, you're a fun dude. And, and two, you declared – you know, fandom of BYU this season. Tell us what went into this decision. What, what's happened here? It was a really easy decision. Uh, so, as I'm sure many of you um, that are watching this probably have understood, if you don't know who I am, it doesn't matter. Uh, I'm not <laughs> from here, and I guess that's what matters. Uh, I'm from Australia, so I didn't. I wasn't born or raised with uh, the BYU Utah rivalry, but I was fortunate to attend school up at the U, uh, up at the U, and I happened to play there for a few years. Anywho, I, you know, my my whole thing is I've got friends in in the BYU program, and I, I have said publicly before that I am a fan of those friends of mine within the BYU program. Hence, why I'm a fan of the BYU program. Now, when Utah and BYU play, I would prefer if Utah won, but it's not going to ruin my year if BYU were to beat Utah. And people have come at me and, and given me a hard time about that, and that's fine, whatever. But, uh, like, my whole thing is Lavelle Edwards and Ronnie Mack were best friends. Come on! Like, is it that big of a deal? We're okay. We're all friends. We love each other. Uh, I, I'm just happy there's football in the state. I'm happy the Cougars are playing. I'm, uh, I'm on board, and I'm going to be watching every game. I'll be cheering for them. Tom, when I, you tweet, just use the hashtag BYUSN, okay? That will really welcome you into the yeah. BYU fold. Now, the picture we put up you of you is very different from your look right now. Can, you, you've grown your hair out. Is this COVID hair? This is certainly COVID hair. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I, uh, I have a six six-month. We've lost Tom. We've lost that. He's frozen. Uh, the, the He's Ute, frozen with the hair commentary. The Ute fans that run his internet have cut it off. <laughs> they said, that is enough. We're done. We, we're done. Oh, oh wait, he's, he's back. back. He's, back. He's, back. he's back. Tom, we thought the Utah fans cut you I'm off back. for a Am minute. Back? You're back. You're back. Okay. Whew. We thought someone okay. was uh, trying to sabotage this uh, whole conversion. You're good. Long story short, this is COVID haircut. But if I, if this would would this would this play down on the campus? Am I allowed? Because yes. I know there are restrictions down yes. there. It, it just can't be over your ears. Oh, you're I'm good. Gonna, you're good. gonna have to curl it behind your ear. It's above the That's ears, it. and you have a mustache that is well okay. manicured. You're good, man. You are welcome. I don't know. That left side's okay. a little long. Hey, I. I w <laughs> I want you guys to know I'm willing to play by the rules. <laughs> and there are plenty of those down here. Uh, what do you need to know to maximize your fandom, Tom? What do you, what do you need to know? Um, I need to know who the starting quarterback is uh, because I bumped into Mike Wilson, Zach Wilson's dad, last Friday, actually, and I had a conversation. Do you, know, do you guys know, they, I think it's their youngest, Isaac, the youngest brother. He, was, uh, he got minutes for Corner Canyon. Ooh. last Friday. So BYU might, uh, might have some more Wilson to, uh, to love. But uh, is it going to be Zach Wilson? Who's it going to be? Come on. We, we think so. We, we think it's Zach's to lose. We'd be surprised if it's not. We feel like Zach is, uh, or he has the highest ceiling, uh, if you want to call it the most talented, however you want to phrase that. He seems like he is the starter. 
Now, the real question is who's going to be the backup because Baylor Romney was the third string guy last year. All he did was beat Boise State and beat Liberty and take care of Utah State in the second half. And then Jaron Hall, who has been explosive at times as well. So I feel like that's the real race is who's going to be the backup. And Tom, you, you know as much as we do there. Maybe it's Baylor, maybe it's Jaron. I, I like the guy that got concussed a lot last year, and I think that's Hall. So uh, I'm going to go with, with Hall as the backup. Hey, the other thing I wanted to talk about quickly was um, I never had a cougar tail, and I just feel bad if I'm going to be a real fan. I should probably indulge in a cougar tail. How do yes. I, with COVID, how do, I, how do I do that? We still don't know who's going to be let into the stadium, right, if at all and how many and whatever uh-huh. but if they let in fans we've got to see if we can't get you in there to get a cougar tail because it's like what a, a 12 inch maple bar it's delicious it's bro. longer than that's three Eight. feet it's three feet okay it's delicious and it's worth it if you like maple it's bar. like a three foot long yeah okay. maple bar donut okay so tom we'll take if we you don't can't seem get like you, you need game, sugar to get excited though. if we can't get you one at the game we'll go to the creamery we will we will grab one for you and we'll make sure well, that it's delivered one of these times spencer's heading up to uh ksl the, ksl yeah. he can take you we'll one, deliver you know? the byu swag with the cougar tail and then you can um be sworn in to byu sports station <laughs> I, I really am excited. And you know what was so funny? I was looking at them um, because the tweet kind of blew up and I wasn't expecting it, but there was a lot of hatred, uh, which is probably, I, I should have known, it's Twitter. Uh, but I just want people out there to know that I love everybody and uh, it's tough going at the minute. And I just, uh, I hope you don't hate too often because it just seems dangerous. But I noticed there was a stake center down in Provo that actually liked my tweet. So if anything, I'm one step closer to being baptized. (laughs) (laughs) Tom, we appreciate you, man. Can't wait to see you. And again, you look fabulous in blue. We'll see you soon. Much love, guys. Thanks for having me. Tom Hackett on the Deseret First Credit Union Hotline. Deseret First, you know why we show. (laughs) He's a character.